Okay, so as usual, let's first start off with the deck. The length of the deck is about 37 and a half inches and the width is about nine and a quarter. Now, just like most boosted style boards, this has a mellow concave. It's definitely not flat, but it certainly isn't an aggressive concave. I also like the underbelly of the deck. It has a nice polished, unique look to it, but it's not crazy wacky like some of these other street boards are doing. It just all comes together nicely and it's a nice subtle design. Now there's definitely a good amount of flex on this board. So if you like flex street boards, this is definitely for you. Now normally I wouldn't like this much flex on a two-in-one performance based production board, but since this is a street cruiser, it's awesome. It has this snapback pumping kind of vibe, which is really where these boosted style street boards are really originated from. If you go back to the boosted boards and you see that they're utilizing loaded longboard decks, you'll see they have crazy amount of flex and snap back to them, giving you that traditional longboard feel. As for the wheels, the new B1 Manda is utilizing 100 millimeter cloud wheel hydro wheels. They're 64 millimeters in width and 76A durometer. The exterior of the wheel has this anti-skid rubber, which redirects the water, which prevents you from breaking traction in wet conditions. So not only does that rubber on the exterior help you ride in the rain, but the core is all polyurethane, which helps with durability and range. The water shedding channels are cut out in a directional tread pattern to ensure rubber stays in contact with the ground in wet conditions. Now, I don't normally recommend riding in the rain, but if you have to, I recommend checking out these videos we've done in the past. In those videos, you see us testing it in more wet conditions rather than just right here, where it just started raining a little bit and the ground was barely wet. But even when the ground is just a little bit wet, it's very easy to break traction with normal urethane wheels. With these, you can still carve even with the wheels being wet and it'll still hold traction. If you look carefully, you can see the wheel is a little bit wet, but like I said, with a normal urethane wheel, any kind of wet conditions, if you carve hard, you will break traction with a normal urethane wheel. With these, they hold traction very well in wet conditions. Now talking about the wheels, how they take manhole covers, bad roads, sidewalks, curbs, this board, along with its flexi deck and these wheels, makes it an extremely comfortable ride. Just let the footage show you what it's capable of.
Manda is utilizing Paris V3 reverse kingpin trucks that are 7.8 inches in width. And in my personal opinion, they're the most carvious reverse kingpin trucks I have used on any lucid style street board. I don't know if their bushings are on the soft side. I don't know if the angles or the design of the trucks are perfect, but as you can see, I have the bushings tightened down quite a bit and yet it carves great. Check it out. Speaking of the trucks, mounted on the bottom of these trucks are already a nice clean set of front headlights. I don't know what lumens they are, but I would say they're a little bit more powerful than the Shredlight Generation 1. I just like how clean and neatly they are mounted, so not only do you not have to buy Shredlights, but they don't even come close to hitting the trucks when you carve. Now the front headlights are integrated with the battery, so there's no need to separately charge the front headlights, but if you wanna turn them on, you have to click the button behind the actual headlight to turn on the front headlights. Now the rear taillight slash brake light is integrated with the battery as well, but you can also turn on that rear taillight and utilize the brake with the remote itself. You don't need to bend down and hit a button. So if you double tap the power button, it'll actually turn on the rear tail light. If you want to engage the brakes, you'll see it flashing from behind so cars and other riders will notice you. If you double tap the power button again, it'll turn off the rear tail light. But even when the rear tail light is off, once you engage the brakes, you'll see the rear tail light flashing. This is a great safety feature for other riders and cars. Now let's see how it looks riding at night. Check it out. As for the motors, nothing fancy here, nothing high end, 5065 dual 1700 watt belt drive, 150 kV motors. As for the ESC, the B1 Manda is utilizing Hobbywing's latest 9043 ESC, which we all know is very, very reliable. Still no cutouts in any of my Hobbywing boards. As for the remote, just like all other Hobbywing newer remotes, you have the auto on and auto off feature. The data screen has everything you need. Your speed, your speed modes, your braking levels, your trip, your total miles, your battery meter for your board, your battery meter for your remote, and of course your reverse indication arrows. Now, if you want to easily adjust your brake levels, all you have to do is click the bottom button five times, click the two wheel drive with the power button, and then you're greeted with the brake level. You can adjust your brake levels by just scrolling through the throttle wheel. Once you have your desired brake level, just hit the power button to enter. Okay guys, here we go. Giant hill test on the B1 Manda. Took about three miles to get here, so I'm not exactly a full battery, but pretty close to it in turbo mode. I'm thinking 15 to 17 miles per hour up this hill. Let's see how she does. Man, that was hard to not carve up the hill because I was cruising up it, not blasting up it. But this board is so much fun to carve and I actually particularly like carving uphill and that was hard not to carve. But anyways, let's check the rider out. 16.5 miles per hour up the hill utilizing the 100 millimeter hydros on the B1 Amanda. Okay guys, here we go. Acceleration test on the B1 Amanda 
utilizing the 100 millimeter hydro cloud wheels. I believe it's using 36T pulleys. I could be wrong though. All right, on go. One, two, three, go. Okay, so obviously not a powerhouse board, but it's not really meant to be a high performance board, especially for its price point. So for its price point, I give it about six and a half, maybe a seven for acceleration. Okay, so here we go, brake test. Can adjust the brakes in the remote. I have it set at 100. We can do full brakes at 13 miles per hour. One, two, three, brake. Nice, very good brakes. As for the battery, the B1 Manda is utilizing a 12S 3P Samsung 50S 10 amp hour 432 watt hour battery. As for range, I'm a 155 pound rider and the temperature was about 92 degrees Fahrenheit. I got a total of 21.5 miles using the stock B1 Manda with 100 millimeter hydro wheels. Few things worth mentioning. The Samsung 50S cells are very good. I got up to 18 miles per hour with no bars left. For a board in this price range, that's very good. Now, unfortunately, when I got this board, the belts were super tight, so tight that the rolling resistance was terrible. Unfortunately, a lot of China brands do this because they have just a line full of workers that utilize power tools. Unfortunately, they don't use manual tools and hand tighten it for proper belt tension. So whichever board that you receive, just double check these things. Another couple things worth mentioning is I had a couple air bubbles in my grip tape. Obviously not a big deal, but I just wish they weren't there. Now, speaking of the grip tape, this grip tape has three millimeter foam grip tape. It's extremely comfortable on top of that super flexy and nice big soft wheels. So if you have bad roads, this board is gonna be extremely comfortable and will take all those bad roads with ease. Another good thing worth mentioning is the gaskets that are underneath the battery and underneath the ESC. These thick, heavy duty gaskets will prevent water getting from in, damaging your electronics on your board. Now, I never suggest riding through wet conditions, but if you're gonna have to, this will help. Now, something else worth mentioning, they do have a cheaper and smaller battery pack option, 345 watt hours with the eight amp hour and still a 12 S2P. So if you wanna save a little bit of money and you're okay with less range, that's a good option. Now, last thing worth mentioning, the B1 Manda also has an all-terrain option, meaning you can put six inch all-terrain tires on the B1 Manda. Now, I personally think Lucent style boards should stick with being street boards, but that's just my personal opinion. If you want all-terrain tires on your boosted style board, go for it. We all got different preferences. Final thoughts. Now with the price of 579 bucks with the bigger battery pack, with our discount code, I think it's a more than fair price for this board. I always enjoy a good boosted style street board, especially with good Carvey trucks, along with a good amount of high speed stability, and most of all, a comfy deck that has a snapback feel when you're carving. I don't think boosted style street boards should be anything north of $800, and you see a lot of boosted style street boards nowadays 900 to 1100 dollars and i just think it's a bit silly i think a boosted style street board should really be all about cruising portability and just having fun a solid boosted style street board should not be utilized for high speed long range and a big fat heavy board once you take away its agility it kind of defeats a purpose from what a boosted style street board should really be my favorite boosted style boards was the og zealot which they do not sell anymore from backfire and the a deck s3 which they also do not sell anymore so if you're like me and you like those nice flexy comfortable snappy boosted style boards and you're not really quite worried about so much range and power and you missed out on the s3 and the og zealot then definitely go for the b1 manda they they also have great customer service like Ace Deck and Backfire. Thanks for watching, guys. Please comment, like, share, subscribe. Have a good one, guys.